I've travelled to Glasgow today. Now, I've come to visit this company behind me, the clues in the name, the Spark Erosion Centre. They do a lot more than that, though. They do wire cutting, and in fact, they're one of Fanuc UK's biggest customers uh, of their EDM machines. But they also do injection moulding, they do milling and turning. I started uh, this interview today by talking to Bill Brines, who's the managing director, about the industry here in Glasgow. I was intrigued to find out what the markets are here uh, for companies like his. Bill, we're here at the Spark Erosion Centre just outside Glasgow in Scotland. Uh, before we start, oh, well, part of the start of this interview, I'd like to just ask you about the industrial markets around this area and what predominantly engineers are making components for. Um, there's a big mix, there's a big mix. Oil and gas is, is, a, is a key one, but um, there's still a bit of automotive, some, still some tool making going on. Um, and, and would the oil and gas be as a result of the overspill from, fr from Aberdeen? Yes, yes. There is quite a sp an overspill comes down. Even now, um, there's still an overspill comes down. And probably been affected in recent years then, has it? And, and has that affected you as a business? Yes. Um, most engineering companies felt that, if not all of them. Um, some were entirely reliant on it and we went down the tubes. Um, others who weren't involved in that industry found that competitors were soaking up their work, scrabbling for work in the oil industry. Um, and I suppose as an overspill, they're going to keep the work in Aberdeen and surrounding areas before it comes to you, aren't they? You'd think so. I'm not sure about that exactly. But uh, there's a skill base down here as well. So uh, there's still things come down here anyway. Good, good. Now, that's good to know. Now, now part of our, our trip today is to talk about these RoboCut machines here that you've got from Fanuc. Uh, and interestingly, there's an oil and gas part on here, which we're going to which we're going to yeah. talk about that you're cutting. Uh, but this is a brand new machine, isn't it? Or it's been, it's been here about a year now. Just under a year. Yeah. Uh, why this uh, C600 uh, IB wire cut then from uh, Fanuc, Bill? It was, um, that was the, spe the sweet spot for us. Uh, we've got smaller machines, we've got kind of larger machines. As a new machine, this gave us the X and Y capability we wanted. We've got an extra uh, 100 mil on the Z, so that's a 400 capable uh, on the Z there, which gives us a wee niche as well. I, I noticed that from you because you've got another C600, the A series, standard sitting next to it, yeah. and I thought, hang on a minute, it, it, it looks a little bit smaller, but it's that Z axis. You've got an that's extra 100 mil. Does that open up a lot of new opportunities for you? Um, we've always had that capability. Well, for the past 12 years, we've been able to do 400 on the Z. Um, but yeah, there's work comes to us that can't be done by anyone else. And proudly, you are one of the biggest Fanuc EDM users around, aren't you, so I'm told? Yes, we had Fanuc since 1984, 85, and we've stuck with Fanuc, and we found them to be accurate, reliable machines, and, and we push them to the limit, so there's a lot of work comes through here that the machines do. What is pushing them to the limits? Is it, is it running day in, day out, or is it, is it the type of work that you're doing? Um, <clears throat> without getting into too much detail, yes, it's all that kind of stuff, but also uh, the capabilities of the machine, stretching what the machine should and shouldn't be able to do, um, increased tapers, tapers way beyond what the machine is actually capable of. We've learned tricks over the years that makes us, uh, gives us that competitive edge. So a collective, a great quality machine and some good skills. Let's open this door, if you want to open this door, Bill, because I want to look at this particular part in here from the oil and gas industry. Can you just give us a, a, a quick flavour of what you're actually doing here to this uh, cylinder? Sure. Um, this uh, particular component is a turned component. It was turned by our customer. Um, it's intended to be a collet for whatever reason, I'm not sure. Um, and we are splitting that up into pieces. Um, those individual pieces will then be assembled into a collet shape uh, and maybe bonded in rubber or something at the end of the day. We won't see the end product, but we are just providing the service for the customer. And I think it's testament to your skill. You work with your customer. Uh, you, you stress relieve, I believe, the, the uh, material before it comes on here now. Well, this particular component should have been stress relieved. The customer didn't think it would distort as much, but there's no forces involved in a wire erosion machine. So the fact that um, when it the first one we cut sprang quite badly to the point it was ruined. Um, we advised the customer to get it stress relieved. They asked us to handle that. We did it, and uh, the result hopefully will be perfect. And now we see that the wire is on the outside here, but actually when you come to do the job, you're cutting from the inside out, aren't you? And you're doing each kind of slot one after the other, but not, not right the way through. 
Yeah, I think uh, we call it leaving the tag, maybe you call it stitching or something. Core stitch function or something like that is one of the yeah. terminologies I've been told. It means that it can almost stay like an assembly but held together very loosely. So it's like an airfix model and you can just break off the pieces once it's finished. How about the reliability of these machines for you here, Bill? Even the older ones? We've got a range of machines now. We tend to trade in as we get new machines. Um, but we've got machines 10, 12 years old. Um, well, just 10, I think we traded in the 12 year old machine. So the reliability is there. We've been at it so long that we can do a lot of our own maintenance and repairs even. So, um, but the support's been there from Fanuc as well when we needed it. And how do you get on with the advancements in the control? I mean, this is a touchscreen control here from Fanuc. Uh, there's a lot of features and functions to it that might not be on your older machines. Does that, does that help you? Um, yeah, it's a, everything's almost touchscreen nowadays. So um, it's kind of familiar to everybody, even though it's new technology. Who hasn't got a touchscreen phone nowadays? So the fact that you're just touching the screen and not necessarily the keyboard isn't a big issue. Um, and it's, it is more capable. Interface. And the economy of the machine when it comes to how much it costs to run. I know Fanuc have put a lot of effort in on all their machines to make them greener and more efficient. Do you notice that? It's not something that we've concentrated on. Um, at the end of the day, our customers are, are quite demanding and they want things back as soon as possible. They're not interested in how many green leafs it's won or whatever it might be, but um, it's, a, it's a factor, but it's not an overriding factor at all. Well, the things they are interested in is the, is the accuracy of the part uh, and often the surface finish. Can you just give us uh, maybe, uh, in your opinion, how this machine or what this machine does on, on both of those points when you're cutting? Um, the fine up wire erosion machines are we found them very accurate. When we've needed them to be really accurate um, on some of the projects for some R&D work, um, they, were, they were spot on, really spot on. And I know you've got things like auto wire feed, if you have issues with a wire out of, out of hours, it, it, it um, reattaches itself, doesn't it? And yeah, auto wire feeding's uh, something that we just, we take for granted, to be honest, because it's just some, a capability in the machine. Uh, in this modern day, the competitive, market that we're in means that uh, we would use that just as a every day. As a given. Uh, came with linear scales as well. Machine hit the deck pretty quickly. That's 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 uh, a pretty big thing as well isn't it? You phoned up, needed a machine and uh, yeah you can have it pretty instantly with Fanuc. Yeah they've not always been quite as responsive as that um, some and it's been demand. I think they've, they're, they've got a market um, in the UK and Europe um, but uh, in that instance, yeah, it was pretty quick.